The Batman vs. Superman movie was super bad and not in the witty, awkward Jonah Hill, Michael Sarah type. He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. Critics tore apart the film Superman style. Rotten Tomatoes labeled it rotten, The Guardian called it an indecipherable pudding of a movie, but the film is fairly true to the comic book itself. Batman is supposed to be in that retired age with slower moves but stronger punches. But luckily his voice has gotten much deeper, right? Moviegoers have rated it better with three or four stars across the board. Maybe critics know less about the Batman Superman history than your average citizen. Prince is doing a pop-up concert in Toronto this weekend and tickets are bound to sell out fast. Oh, no, let's go. Two intimate shows will be part of his piano and a microphone tour. Tickets went on sale at 10 a.m. today. The shows are back to back this Friday at 7 and 10 p.m. The shows were set up with only 48 hours for fans to scrounge funds together. Remember 2014 when fans were excited to hear Prince performing at Massey Hall in Toronto? only to have no flamboyant entertainer. Well, this time, it's the truth. Fans kick it to a Tribe Called Quest song, Can I Kick It, after member Fife Dog died at 45 yesterday. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. can I Fife Dog grew up with Q-Tip in Albans, New York, starting their rap group in 1985. Fife, or Malik Taylor, struggled with diabetes since 1990. The humble five-foot assassin had underwent kidney transplants in 2008 and 2012, but last November, he spoke to Rolling Stone, saying he was in a good place. A tribe called Quest is said to have paved a new direction for the rap genre, an ingenious rapper lost from the pioneers of alternative hip-hop. Axl Rose has apparently split his axe down the middle between two bands. The Guns N' Roses frontman is said to soon lead vocals for ACDC. Brian Johnson, ACDC's main vocalist, had to pull out from the rocker bus tour after being told he would risk going completely deaf. If Rose really does do the singing deed, he will front the band for 10 shows. Fans and social media have run wild with the idea, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. With Guns N' Roses set to reunite for the first time since 1993, can Axl Rose really juggle both bands? That's it for entertainment. I'm Crystal Williams for Say News.